So my name is Dr. Angel Acosta. You know, I'm, I'm the chair of the Acosta Institute, and I want to take a moment just to share a little bit about our healing-centered uh, education certificate program that's coming up in April. And we really think that we want to build an institution that is the home for healing-centered education. In fact, we want to build something that lasts a thousand years. I'll let you hold that. And part of what we're thinking <clears throat> is a three-month experience, a three-month experience that runs from April 28th to June 30th. And every week, uh, we'll have some live instruction online and we'll have integration sessions for people to process what they're learning there'll be some pre-recorded -pre lectures and presentations all around building healing centered learning environments uh, so it'll be a two a three month 60 hour certificate program we'll have a learning dash a learning dashboard on kajabi it's a it's a learning uh, dashboard You'll have all the recordings there, all the materials you need, uh, kind of a centralized platform for participants to access the modules, the, re the, the resources, and you'll be able to watch uh, some of the resources and the videos that the faculty members put up with some worksheets and some reflection questions. So just kind of an, a rich opportunity to be in dialogue and in community uh, together. During our live sessions, We'll have renowned faculty uh, join for Q&A and for shorter lectures to explore in a deeper way some of the concepts that they put out in the pre-recorded uh, sessions. And this is an opportunity to engage in dialogue and to process together with the faculty. We'll, we'll have these uh, live sessions on Sundays for about two hours, and they'll be recorded in case you can't make it. Um, and, and all the recordings for everything will be made available within 24 to 48 hours. Um, every two weeks, we'll have integration sessions, um, meaning that we'll have dedicated time for participants to come together and process what they're learning, process what they're thinking about, how this makes sense for them in their community, how this makes sense in terms of their classroom and the, in terms of their organization. And it'll be hosted by our integration and care team. Um, I want to just take a moment to acknowledge our faculty for the certificate program. Dr. Kia Darling Hammond, who will be teaching around human uh, and human flourishing and thriving theory and practice. Uh, Dr. Kia has been in the field of education for more than 20 years and is an incredible researcher and, and practitioner. Um, her theory of uh, the, the bridge to thriving is incredible. Like what are the elements that we need to put in place for people to thrive? Community, selfhood, abundance, pleasure, relief, and all of those combined create what? A space where people can just be. So this is kind of a quick teaser of Dr. Kia's framework, the bridge to thriving uh, framework, just to give you a little sense. Uh, Trauma-informed pedagogy and healing-centered practices by Arlen Casimir. Arlen uh, was a K through 12 educator and was able to do incredible work and has written books on trauma-informed pedagogy. So she'll, she'll be teaching in the certificate program as well. Uh, my sister, uh, Dr. Yolanda Sili Ruiz, uh, speaking on the archeology span of self, and thinking about what are the practice that we need to dig deep in our own practice, dig, dig deep in our own biases, to, to, to transform the ways we teach, to transform the ways we show up in the classroom and the way we show up in our organizations as leaders. Uh, Dr. Latisse Harrison, who's an incredible, incredible uh, practitioner and researcher around restorative practices, her and Solana Booth will be teaching around racial and collective healing and taking kind of an indigenous and restorative approach to that kind of work. Uh, my sister Solana Booth, um, she's a, an indigenous elder and a pipe carrier and a medicine woman. 
and she will be exploring uh, collective healing uh, and indigenous wisdom and practices with with Latisse Hairston. And then lastly, uh, myself, I'll be going deeper on healing centered uh, practices um, and really framing this healing centered and restorative paradigm in education in a really robust way. So I'm excited about that. And to close out, we'll have a, a team. We'll have a team of a, a wonderful team helping us with integration and caring for us throughout the three months. Uh, Drasana McDaniel, Maria Tan, uh, Joshua Feliz Martinez, and Makita uh, Gershenson. Um, just a really, really gentle team, a mighty team, a powerful team to support us. And I'll close this by saying that this is our inaugural Healing Centered Education Certificate Program, kind of a three-month experience from April 28th to uh, June 30th. And it's going to be dynamic. We also, for those of you who are available, we have rented out the Garrison Institute in the Hudson Valley of New York. So a couple of weeks before the certificate program begins, we'll have a retreat at the Garrison Institute to come together and be in person before we launch the fit the, the virtual certificate program experience. With that being said, I wanna I wanna I wanna strongly invite you to consider joining us for our first ever Acosta Institute Healing Centered Education Certificate Program where we'll specifically be thinking about building healing-centered learning environments. So folks, that's really wanted, what I wanted to share today was give you a little taste of the kind of insight that we try to deploy and have access to. And then also just gently um, invite folks to consider being part of our certificate program I'm going to put the link in the chat. Uh, we we got some funds from the Kellogg Foundation, so we were able to subsidize um, significantly the community because we know times are rough. Um, so we were able to reduce the registration rates by a few hundred dollars, um, but the, that discount will expire next week. Uh, so we, we invite you to consider joining us and registering as soon as you can. We're keeping the program to a relatively small group so that we can manage the community. And then we'll also be in person, optional. It's an option to be in person at the Garrison Institute, April 19th through the 21st. Uh, you could also join the retreat and not participate in the certificate program as well. That's another option. Um, but any questions, any questions around the certificate program, any questions around the certificate program, feel free to jump right in. Um, Angel, I do have a couple of questions. Um, sorry, Dr. Acosta. Um, uh, two, a couple of things, because I had received the invitation before, and so I was looking through the website previously. Um, I'm wondering, I couldn't, I wasn't able to find out the information about what the cost is for the retreat. All I could find is that there's a discount if you register for the three month long certificate training. It's yeah. like 50% off the retreat, but I wasn't sure then what I would have to come up for the, with for the for the actual cost of the. Uh, yeah, yeah. So thank you for asking that, Maria. The Garrison Institute is working on putting it on the website this week. So from my understanding, the the three day retreat at the Garrison covering meals and lodging is going to be about six hundred. 600 that that's why um the higher tier the higher tier certificate program um tiers it's a good deal because it, it includes that it includes that so it includes so um yeah so i'll we'll we'll, we'll update that this week once the garrison puts it up okay. but it's gonna be about you know about six something to cover meals and um and registration and lodging for those two days so that's why we leaned on garris uh, on the on kellogg to hook us up thank you the second question i had is um just wanting to hear a little bit more in terms of the certificate program i love the lineup of the speakers and it looks amazing 
I was curious if if it's like all lecture or if there's lecture and reflection and like are we able to do, kind of work through some of the pieces for on for ourselves as we are also going through the certificate program does that make sense yeah that makes total sense so each faculty member is going to do a pre-recorded comprehensive presentation around their practices their suggestions their, rem their recommendations and so that will allow you to have access to that and then and then there'll be a live two hour version just to be with them and ask questions and bring your bring your ideas bring your work right so there'll be and then there'll be integration sessions where you can be in community continuing to work on your on your work and then we've designed reflection practices to very specifically allow you to refine and get clearer on your work so so yeah so it's very reflective it'll have lecture and presentations but there'll be ample time for conversation with the faculty um, and ideally you know if people come in person for the garrison that'll allow you to get really grounded um and come hang out with us at the garrison you know just get grounded and then, and then jumping into that virtual certificate program very kind of centered. Right. Thank you.